when my students come to me and say, well, what does it take? I usually say, uh, you need to love it. You, you have to desire becoming good at what's going on. The people that at Rose State who really succeed are the ones who spend endless hours in the lab rooms, in the control rooms, because they have to. Some people find out they don't want to spend that much time doing it. Other people just live at the studio. I really like it. He's, he's the first teacher I've ever had that really just kind of like, I don't know, sparked my interest into something so much to make me kind of just get into it. And it's kind of like, I don't know, I couldn't really see myself doing anything else now because I like this so much. When I do see talented kids or kids who are willing to work, and some come in either way, and some both, and I see them typically go on and do things, I do warn them that they may have to do more than one thing to make a living, a comfortable living. But I also tell them if they want to do it enough that they'll figure out a way to do it. My approach to how quickly the students pick things up and, and my advice to them is to, I'm going to set out some things you need to do. And if you do them, I'm gonna know how, how you're doing as far as learning goes. If you do them on time, you know, you're gonna have a better chance at a job also. And I never discourage somebody from doing anything. It's, to me, they should do what they wanna do. And, and if nothing else, they're gonna learn how to maybe make their own songs in their little compact studios and, and get an, a, a job as, as an accountant somewhere and, uh, and make more money than I would ever think about making. Here we go. Students, Craig Shook, which we're uh, doing, he's done some quite a bit of recording, and he's taken most of my classes. He's an example of someone who lives and breathes it. I couldn't really imagine going out there to do anything with music without knowing what I've learned from going there, because I don't know. Just I mean, about recording and music in general. Like he has theory classes. And I've learned about music theory, I've learned about music business, and there's, I mean, there's so much stuff that goes on, and most people have no clue. Craig has been out a few times. Um, this semester, actually, we couldn't find a good time for their band to record at Rose State, so we just made it a recording two project to go out to my place and do it. He didn't get to do the engineering, but he's, he's been working on it since. I haven't touched it since I recorded it. 